to continue with the former question. Let us stay a while with the methodological issues of your research. You write the following. It was distinct from grounded theory in the sense that it did not assume empirical data to be a source of knowledge, or certainty, but rather developed models for the simulation of interaction, in which participants engaged in a reflexive way, that was not limited to the past. I don't think that most current mainstream thought regarding grounded theory, automatically, makes this assumption. But I'm fine with classifying this research in a different way. Hello, everybody. In this sentence, I did not contrast grounded theory with the other representational approaches, qualitative and quantitative methods. And neither was it my intention to define grounded theory. Generally, we understand that grounded theory is different in goal. It tries to create a theory. In turn, conventional methods try to test a theory or to provide new insight on a problem. My methodology was performative inquiry, which belonged to the, to the non-representative action approaches. As such, also the goal was different. It aimed towards the creation of methods and it did this through a performance and interaction. This was the central point for me in, in this paragraph of the book. I wanted to underline that the data only constituted a framework. Does this mean that the empirical data were not relevant? In fact, the whole research could also have been done with fictional data. The problem is then, I could not have done it alone. I would have needed a real group of participants to enact the game. This was beyond my possibilities. Further, the use of real empirical data increased the propaganda effects, which was a highly interesting mechanism to demonstrate. Another point related to this was your mention that the full understanding of the research question was expected to be achieved only after the reader herself had been able to reproduce the proposed game. Which means, has written her own national story. I don't think this is very unusual. Most dissertation students have some preconceptions about what the results are likely to yield, but don't affirm our views until after data collection is complete. This was not a question of preconception, but of validity. If you read carefully, you will hear that I said, the full understanding of the research question was expected to be achieved only after the reader herself had been able to reproduce the pros proposed game. I addressed the reader in this sentence, the research community, and not myself, the author. Certainly, there are always many preconceptions, but that's not the point. The question was that the performative inquiry had no validity in itself. It required the reader to re-enact what is proposed in the research. If you only read it, you simply believe the study is credible. But if you perform it yourself, you can validate the method. Oh, that's a different understanding, indeed. Thank you.